what's going on, Piglets? It's your BFF, Big Bird here, coming at you with my first ever solo food review. I know, I know. About time, right? There's no calling here, y'all. There's there's no calling. It's just me today. Remember my Ranger shirt? We went and saw a game last night when they beat the Royals with a walk-off home run by Mitch Moreland, and that thing was literally, I'll have to have call, like maybe post a picture like somewhere, see me, like, I'm like blurry, kind of, but uh, we were literally 20 feet from the walk-off home run. It was freaking awesome, man, I loved it. I am here at Jack and Box here in Dallas, and I've never been to Jack and Box, so I got the Brew House Bacon Combo. It's their special, so I was like, well, might as well get the newest, best thing, right? Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got my got the fries. Looking good. Smell good. Here's, here's what we came here for. Piglets. Here's what we came for. Let's see. I asked no tomatoes, obviously. Because I mean tomatoes are nasty. Oh. First of all, it smells amazing. It really it's supposed to be like a special kind of bread. I didn't really they didn't tell me, but it's supposed to be special kind of bread. Let's see, it's got bacon, lettuce. Some type of sauce, some type of sauce, some cheese. I mean, you know what's in our cup, right? Say it with me, everybody. This is time. I like it. And we're gonna, you know what? How much I have? 3D. Oh, that looked good. It looked good. I mean, I have to replay and see, but it looked good. All right, so let's just you know, give this bad boy a try. Right, here we go. Bon appetit. They didn't give me a napkin or some kind of sad about. So I'll end up using the receipt probably. As bad as that looks. It's really good. The uh, bacon is so crispy. I mean, the flavor just kind of pops. And whatever the sauce is, it kind of has a hint of Big Mac sauce a little bit. And this bread, it has the taste of an Arby's bread. If y'all have ever had Arby's at all, which I, I mean, I assume y'all have. If you haven't, well, go try it. Oh, bacon fell out. That's, that's how I like it. There's the bacon if you want to see the bacon. It's kind of that flimsy microwave bacon, but I mean, it still tastes good. I'm getting sauce on my shorts, everybody. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe for this box, because I'm getting sauce everywhere. They don't get around with sauce, man. They go hard up here in Dallas. The tea, I can't, it's just, I mean, it's just tea. They look like McDonald's fries. We're about to find out what they taste like. And they taste like, they're literally McDonald's fries. In my personal opinion, they're McDonald's fries. For the small combo, it was $6.99. I went ahead and got the medium, just, you know, more Texas tea, bro. And it came out $7.58. That's how much it was. Eh, that's not a bad price. I mean, you go to Wendy's or somewhere else, it's gonna, it's gonna be about that, that price for a bacon burger. I mean, you can really taste the meat. <laughs> Pros and cons. Pro, amazing flavor. It's, it really is. I mean, that tastes so good. It really does. It's probably one of the, better fast food burgers I've had in a while. Price, price wasn't bad. I mean, $7 for a regular small combo for a bacon burger, especially, is not bad. That's fries and drink. I mean, that's not bad. You go to Wendy's, like I said, you get a Baconator, just a regular medium combo, I think one of you almost $9. Definitely some savings there. Unique flavor. I mean, the bacon, like it, lo it looks crispy, it tastes pop, that sauce is amazing. Cons, it was $6.99 for a small and not a medium. I went ahead and got the medium for the 750, which isn't that bad. I mean, that's only like that's only 50 cents more for a medium. I assume it's only gonna be available a limited time because it, it was a little special, a little billboard for it. Also, availability. The closest one we have is Lubbock. I'm in Dallas, but for a Ranger game, obviously. But availability is kind of a con. And also, the sauce is a little familiar. It kind of a little taste of Mac sauce in there, and the fries are very McDonald esque, if you know what I mean. They very much. Very similar. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. This is getting a Big Bird's kick-ass seal of approval. Boom. Because I mean, it's, it's good. I have no complaints with it. Price wasn't bad. Flavor was phenomenal, as I said. So I mean, that's about it. I mean, so until next time, hopefully Colin keeps you around to do another solo food review. This has been your boy Big Bird coming at you with a food review. Be sure to hit that subscribe button that's been around somewhere above here. Somewhere next to me. Maybe it's on knee. Maybe it's right there. That'd be kinda cool. Just hit that subscribe, button, that subscribe button, become a piglet so you can catch, uh, stay in touch with all of Colin's amazing food reviews. The man's gifted when it comes to food reviews, I know. As well as beer, uh, Tanner's Friday night beer reviews. He's gonna get a new six pack soon, so good for him. And then, in about a month, piglets, we coming at you, me and Colin, 
with the new NFL Pick'ems, because the season starts September 12th, or maybe September 9th, because it's Thursday night. Something like that. And we'll be there. We'll pick it, man. Hopefully I can win the jackpot again this year like I did last year. That was a nice little payday. Make sure you follow uh, Colin on Vine, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. All those links will be down in the description below. And I, as y'all know, Colin Porchop and Big Bird love y'all the mostest. Y'all take it easy. I'm out.